Good morning, YouTubers. It's about 5.30 a.m. I'm on my way to the Boundary Waters. Hopefully, I am going to hammer a big, big lake trout. I'm hoping. We'll find out. I'll also show you some techniques and lures along the way that I like to use. Um, and also how I get there. I got my two trusty poodle pointers behind me. They're probably sleeping. Uh, they are gonna pull me in by sled. So yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully I crush them. I am super excited. That number is above zero. I have not seen that for like two weeks. Nine degrees, baby! Made it in uh, a little later than I thought. It took me a little bit longer to be back in here. My dogs, they're working their butts off. My sled might be a little overloaded. Come on, come on, hike. Feel kind of bad for them. But I am ready to crush some trout. Here we go. Now I'm gonna look for about 60 feet of depth. Um, Kind of towards the main basin of the lake it's where these trout tend to hang out about 60 feet suspended maybe 40 feet down um oh my gosh i just got a really nice trout um about three feet under the ice unreal i was looking down my ice hole all of a sudden had a red red line on my vexlar way up high Pulled up this sucker, hammered it about six times before I set the hook. He is a dandy trout. Just a dandy. Sitting here in about 55 feet of water. And just goes to show these trout can be anywhere. Got it on the white tube jig, a classic. Tipped with a little bit of sucker meat. All right. One on the ice. Okay, I'm graphing a trout right now. You can see mine is a green line. And there was a red line right now. Let's see if it'll come back. There's mine. Come on. Where'd it go? No! Why do you do this to me, trout? I was just bumped by... There, I got two trout down there, which is good. That means they might be competing. Um, I'm jigging a big airplane jig which notoriously catches big fish if they decide to hit. I got bumped by that top one. Like, come on, baby. I don't know if, see if I can maybe do little jigs. Oh, I thought it was going, oh, there it is. Come on. Okay, they're both up to it. See if I can get it come up a little bit higher sometimes if you can just keep keep that cat and mouse game going they eventually do it but I don't know it's not looking like they really want the airplane jig so oh, come on he bumped it just to get taste but there's a lot of metal on that airplane jig which I don't really like but I did tip it with a little bit of sucker Just not really. I don't like it. Just hooked up with number two of the day. A pretty little guy. I'm gonna let him go. But I just want to show you something real quick. That's why you use a stinger hook. Only got him with the stinger hook. It happens all the time. So anyways though he was right on the bottom really aggressive little guy fought like crazy he'd taste good in the fry pan but you know it's early yet i'm gonna let him go so i had a fish follow me all the way up from 60 feet all the way to there come on where is he he just was there two seconds ago god dang it that would 
and so cool to got on video. That's how a lot of guys get around up here. It's how I get around. Uh, dog sled. There goes two teams right past me right now. On their way out to see if they can get some luck too. I'm leaving the lake. Um, hike, 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 hike. Sorry, thought I was talking with them. I'm leaving the lake now. Overall, I'd say it's pretty successful today. I uh, got the got two. Um, and I had a bunch of chasers, missed a couple, but it was a good day. Well, it was a great day of uh, ice fishing today up in the Boundary Waters. Uh, caught two, missed a few, and had a few chasers, but no takers. Uh, nothing better than waking up at 5 in the morning, going ice fishing with the dogs, and heading into the Boundary Waters, and then ending the day like this. I got my Colorado Bulldog and, and some good company in the hot tub. And yeah, it's uh, it was a great day. See you next time.